guys! So, welcome back for another video. It's Dane again. So, today we're going to be talking about something that has been stored for some time now. <laughs> Obvious na. Obvious na wala na ang daming ginagawa kasi hindi pa nakakapag-vlog ni. So, so, today we're going to be talking about the question we're going to be asking, are you having money problems? Money problems. So, introduction to this topic. So, why this topic? I recently been notified about specific situations that alarmed me. On top of the situation of people who are close to me, I was made aware of situations via documentary films and academic blogs where money is really a problem. Especially for my country, the Philippines, period. <laughs> I've been deliberating on whether I should speak about this topic or not until just a few days ago when I did my quiet time. So, if you know me, I'm very... I really have a heart uh, regarding social issues and what's been on my mind and heart since like last month or last a month or two is really poverty incidences. Kasi, uh, I've been, parang nakita ko eh, na parang napanood ko sa, sa video, sa documentaries na people are really struggling, alam mo yun, parang ganito yung buhay nila, and although I'm praising God na I'm not in that situation, I can only imagine what they're going through every day, so parang I wanted to, syempre, parang me knowing na, na I, the reason behind this um, parang uh, state of comfort comfort now we're in. Para I know the reason and ano uh, the blessing behind it. I want to share it with you guys. Now, this is why I believe na it's really important to abide by the things that I'm going to say kasi principle siya. It's really something na hindi um how do you say this? Uh parang hindi lang siya parang ah pwedeng gawin sige pwedeng gawin ka pero parang it's like a need already for some so long story short my devo time devotion time led me towards the realization that being in Christ or having Christ in our lives ultimately meant that we are under his rule and that has benefits including provision so that's what i said so but why is it that the philippines which is a predominant which is predominantly a Christian country, still is considered one of the poorest countries in the region, in, in the Asia, or Southeast Asia, or even the world. So, yeah. Or to not overgeneralize, sige. Not sa nation, pero sa atin. Why is it that some of us, still being Christian or having faith in God, still experience financial problems? Why is it that some of our needs are not being met? Why do we still have problems with money? So, actually, parang as I was praying about this, I remember na parang my specific verse lang. So, what I did was like, sabi ko, God, give me a story. I want to, I want to give a very um, detailed, very concept, comprehensive, 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 um, parang take on this so, um, based siya sa book sa Malakai. So, God led me here in Malakai 3.7. From the days of your fathers, you have turned aside from my statues and have not kept them. So, ito yung et, background dito is, ito yung time na talagang walang-wala na yung people of God. And ito yung reason behind it. So, turning aside from the statues and have not kept them. So, in Malachi 3.8, it goes on, God says, you are robbing me in your tithes and contributions. Therefore, in Malachi 3.9, sabi ni God, you are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of me. Turning away from God means turning away from the blessings of God. So, at the end of the day, parang it goes hand in hand. At the end of the day, when you go, when you go opposite ways from the Lord, there's also that curse you know, it says here now there's also that curse na ah uh, parang parang God's hand is not over you anymore if you if you get what I mean. So basically, since we're talking about tithes and con and contributions, what is the principle of tithing? So according to Dave Ramsey, 
a efficient finance personality, a tithe is a portion or 10% of your income given as an offering to your local church. So, fun fact lang, the, the word tithe literally means 10th in Hebrew. Okay, so 10th. Kaya 10th. So, first and foremost, tithing is biblical. Biblical. Basis. May basis siya. Alam ko, naririnig ko sa mga ano, some, like, na, I just came across. <laughs> Nakakata. I just came across with it. Tapos parang I just heard na parang, in every, in every church or institution, there will always be a business side to it. And parang for me, it's not technically, hindi naman for me, pero sa totoo lang, it's not technically a business side to it. It can be a transaction, in a way, in a simplest form. Pero iba ang business, parang it's more, sometimes, more about um, profit-driven, yun na lang yung, ano, some, yung, yung the majority of the culture with it in terms of business. Pero, in terms of this, it's not really business. It's tithing. It's returning what is due to God. Kasi when you say business, parang, ano yun, so parang business, business transaction na lang with God na bigay mo sa akin tong tithe. Hindi eh. Kasi at the end of the day, it's also still personal. Kasi if you, if we can see it again in the, um, in the verse sa Malachi 3 to 7, from the days of your father, you have turned aside from my statues and not, have not kept them. And if you know God, this is personal to him. Na, tithing, you giving your tenth to God is personal to God. It's not just a business transaction that if you give this, I give this. Because God will always be faithful and has always been faithful. So, at the end of the day, it can be like really a personal thing. So, yeah, I, I forgot my train of thought. So, um, Leviticus 27.30 A tenth of the produce of the land, whether grain or fruit, is the Lord's and is holy. So, Proverbs 9 Honor the Lord with your wealth, the, with the first fruits of all your possessions. It's actually a command also. It's something that we have up to up uphold, not for the sake of the church getting money from its people for basically um, the church of God, God's church, Si God ang provider. Okay. So, at the end of the day, yun ang principle na pinanghahawa ka ng church. It's just that at the end of the day, sometimes, some, sometimes, sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, God wants to use His people to be His hands and feet on earth. So, alam mo yun, um, it's also about our perception eh. Our perception about tithing and giving back to God. If you know what I mean. So, Ayun eh, my, my sense of worldliness sometimes tayo na world view on how the church operates. Pero, if you know and you know that this church has re God really in them, the living God, you can trust God through the church, if you know what I mean. Of course, it's not to say na there is no accountability in the church. If you know, if you know talaga those who are, those real churches, Grabe yung accountability nila. As in talagang hindi nila hawakan yung envelope. As in talagang dyan lang yan. Dapat nakikita ng lahat ng tao na nandyan lang yung type box. Ganun. Parang in the, in the, uh, parang makikita ng lahat ng tao. Ganun. So, what are the implications of tithing? Malakay 3, 10 to 12. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And therefore, put, sabi ni God yun, <laughs> the Lord says yun. And there, hindi, hindi ako. <laughs> and thereby, put me to test, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. So, I, God, si God, sabi, will rebuke the devourer for you so that it will not destroy the fruits of your soil. And your vine in the field shall not fail to bear, says the Lord of hosts. Then all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a land of delight, says the Lord. So, um, bakit pa gagawin ni God? Bakit tayo ibe-bless ni God? At the end of the day, alam mo yun, I believe na um, everything that happens in our lives may be uh, dis distraught or problems or blessings, especially that comes from the Lord, is to actually 
that people may see also and that it can be a testament that God is really faithful and a God that really provides for us. Alam mo yun. Na at the end of the day, it's not Alam mo yun, of course, it's he wants the good for you. He wants the best for you. But at the end of the day, he wants... Parang with God, kasi everyone can win, win eh. Alam mo yun, na parang... Um, na-bless ka na nga, na-honor na mo pa si God. Parang God, God is honored pa. Parang ganun. And at the end of the day, hindi siya yung ano eh. Parang... How do you say this? Parang hindi siya yung... Sabi ko sa'yo, hindi siya mere business transaction na... You pat my back, I pat your back. Because God doesn't need us. It's all a matter of, is parang are you obeying God? Parang is parang is God the center of your heart, de ba sabi sa Bible sa Bible where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So where is your treasure, de ba? Are are your is your are your treasures here? Da nandito sa ano or is it with God? And sometimes. Yun talaga is like a basic principle in the financial scene or component. Pag when we're talking about the biblical sense, na tithing is is one of the basic financial um, tenets na we sh we should be abiding in. So basically, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh my gosh! So what are the implications of tithing? So first, sabi ba, there is no, there will be no more need. Diba? Sabi ni God, um, and therefore, thereby, put me to, to the test, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. Diba? Yun naman talaga yung basically, na that's what we all want, na at the end of the day, our needs, na our needs will be met, na hindi tayo nangangapa, na kumakapit sa patalim, na pumunta sa 5-6 or something, <laughs> para lang to have, to far sustain. To fire for sustenance. So, God promises to provide for our needs. So, second, God offers protection so you will become fruitful. God will rebuke the devourer for you so that it will not destroy the fruits of your soul and your vine in the field shall not fail to bear. So, I just wanna highlight dito na, alam mo yun, in, God offers protection so that, for your benefit also, so that you will become fruitful. Na at the end of the day, we all have been given the privilege or given the ability to become fruitful, de ba? So, with God, of course. So, yun. So, three is a good reputation. So, then all nations will call you blessed, de ba? Then, then all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delight of a la, uh, you will be a land of delight. So. One of the reasons why I wanted to share this is because I believe it is relevant for my countrymen. So whoever is going to watch this, I know na, you know, I know na God can do whatever He wants with this video. So I don't limit God in that area. I believe hindi tayo nagkulang sa research nor on setting goals. Pero you might be lacking upon taking action for the Philippines. Imagine if there is a collective action upon the principle of tithing. We can reap the fruits of it. So, first and foremost, it's alam mo yun, it's beyond the ano eh the tong principle ni God it's beyond any economic theory or data research kaya ito ang gusto kong gawin then on the sideline na hindi lang puro academic research hindi lang puro get, getting knowing things sa the end of the day it can also parang by by experience it can also, parang sinasabi mo na kontrolado mo lahat. And at the end of the day, we're not supposed to be in control, di ba? So, yun, talagang, uh, I advocate for this kasi I know na when we do our part, God does His. Ano mo? Ito, basically, in, in this, uh, it's true in this setting. Kasi, di ba, test me in this, sabi. So, at the end of the day, yun. So, our main points is... <laughs> Sorry guys, I hope you're not bored. <laughs> so, let's go back to the fundamental basis of these verses. Why are we ultimately encouraged to tithe? Para kanino ba ang tithing? Saan mapupunta ang pera mo? What, what does tithing imply? So, Malachi 3.7 Return to me and I will return to you. 
Actually, ito sinasabing sa inyo, puro malakay to, isang chapter to ah. Isang, parang isang magkakasunod na verses. So, alam mo naman yun na parang pag magkakasunod na verses yung, yung verses, parang there might be, yes, there is a connection between them. So, return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. According to the succeeding verses, hindi lang siya, ano, hindi lang siya magka, isang story siya. So, according to the succeeding verses, the people are to return to God by giving back what is due to God so that there may be food for God's house. So, ayun, parang it's an act. God says na, this is how you go back to me. Yeah. This is, and parang, makikita mo naman na, yun nga, makikita mo naman, kasi yun nga, sabi in, in, it says in Matthew 6.21, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So, parang usually, my sense. So, does God have your heart? I believe God wants to talk about this area because sometimes it's the case of wanting the blessings and not God. But I'm here to remind you that when you place God first, everything will follow. So at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's not, alam mo yun, parang, it's not really, it shouldn't really be about wanting the blessings first, but wanting God first and the blessings will follow. And you cannot, hindi mo mamamak si God na, I don't know, like, siguro, sabi kasi dito eh, parang tingnan mo ah, return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. And alam niya na may tendency tayo na pumunta kay God for the sake of blessing. Pero alam niya na where treasure is, there your heart will be also. Kaya parang pag nakuha niya yung, pag nakuha niya yung mas mahalaga sa yung pinakamahalaga sa'yo, nakuha ka na din niya. Parang ganon. So, what will I say? So you see, the main message of this portion of the Bible is not to primarily have money, financial blessings, or the likes. This portion encourages us to go back to God and it claims that the material wealth, etc. are just the overflow of living a life that is first that first and foremost honors God. So to clarify lang, tithes kasi is, uh, is 10% of everything that you receive. So basically, if you want to know more about that, uh, you can research so, may mga, um, you can ask pastors, uh, pastors sa, uh, bas, basta, be cre yung credible pastors sa hindi yung, <laughs> alam mo na. So, ayun, another example of, um, a credible financial expert na Christian on the area of tithing is Dave Ramsey, yung sinabi ko. So, yun, he's really, he's credible as far as I know. And yun, even businesses, I think may mga friends ako na nagkita-tights din yung businesses, yung business niya, yung revenues, which is, I think, I'm not really sure, pero she was advised to do so. I guess, I think you should ask your pastor for this because I'm not really a pastor. So, I'm just, you know, Dane. So, so, just, yeah, do your own research, okay? So, Conclusion, we sometimes have money problems because we rob God by not tithing. Because we fail to honor God in the area of finances. God intended the principle of tithing so there can be food for His house. God, food for His house. You know, His house. That is the term. His. Sa kanya pa rin yun. So at the end of the day, <laughs> you giving to the church is giving to Him in a way. Diba? Yan yan. So, God is primarily concerned with what or who has got your heart of His rank in your life. Pang ilan si God si life, sa life mo. Kaya nga sabi doon, di ba, first fruits. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, kung first fruits yung pinakamaganda, yung pinakawaw. Wow. Kasi, si God yung pinakawaw wow sa life mo. Ganun. Yun. So, <laughs> okay, let's pray. Father God, I just really want to thank you for everyone who's watching this video. Kahit na dalawa lang sila. Kahit na tatlo lang sila, kahit isa lang, kahit ako lang, Lord. Kahit ako lang na bless her. I just really want to thank you for um, their perseverance and their determination to watch this video and to really go on with life. I pray that, you, that they may be blessed by watching um, these videos so that they may be blessed by truly putting into action the things that they have done. I pray that they do, they do their own research. Thank you because you're using me as your salt and light and as your um, spokesperson, well, as your um, conveyor of message to the public. And I just really want to pray na 
ikaw nung bahala to to uh, how do you say to guide these people towards obedience sa yo. I pray that you work in their hearts and I pray that you uh, allow them to understand that it's not really about getting things from them, but it's them. It's about getting them to return back to you. Thank you because you love them so much and that you care for them so much. And at the end of the day, what matters? What matters is the relationship with you and that um, we're still okay with you. Thank you, Lord God. Bless them. Keep them, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, that they would grow in their faith even more. Lord, sana masigurad sila, Lord God. And I pray na you guide them all along. In Jesus' name, Amen. So that is it, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning into another segment. Ang haba na ng segment natin. But I know na, I pray and I hope na it, it will bless you as it is blessing me. Thank you guys. Let's love God together. Bye!